Hello, my name is Billy Griffith. I would like to talk about one of my favorite books, The Long Walk. This book was written by Stephen King and released for the first time in 1979 as a paperback. This makes it over 30 years old. King published it under his pseudonym of Richard Bachman. One of the several reasons that I like this book is that it delivers a very gripping plot and a sense of impending doom for the whole book. It starts out rather subtly, not giving the reader a very clear sense of what the character's background is and why he is entering the competition of the long walk. Despite this apparent vagueness, the reader gets a sense of the despair felt by the characters as they enter the competition. You can tell that the readers for the rewards for winning will be great, but the punishments of losing will be greater. The main character in this book is Garotti, a young teenage boy who enters a competition seeking money. The walk's rules are reinforced by a group of soldiers that ride behind the walkers on a half-track. These are some of the main characters mostly because they are present through the whole walk. All throughout the book, Garotti is the main protagonist and the soldiers the main antagonists. Another thing that appeals to me about this book is the intensity and depth of the characters. In a future totalitarian America, where the government keeps a keen watch in their public, the walk is one of the only hopes that many have for glorious success in the future. The people give everything they have for their one chance at the walk. All of the characters that are in the long walk are there for various reasons. Many run simply on high-octane hate and a need to win, while others realize that they are lost and simply walk the hope that they may win by a fluke. The whole concept of the book is to take very detailed people with very complicated and unique needs and pit them against each other in a simple task with high stakes. Stephen King illustrates this very elementally by saying, you just keep picking them up and laying them down, describing the nearly endless will to walk which stems from want and fear. I'd recommend this book to anyone who likes horror-themed books or someone who just wants a detailed plot and a good story. This book did not grow monotonous and kept me gripped from beginning to end. I hope that by listening to this, I have encouraged you to read and enjoy The Long Walk.